Dev uh, Vashish is saying that when will apostasy be 70 percent uh, in uh, in Indian Muslims? I am an ex-Hindu, by the way. You don't have to tell us, but that's fine. Uh, 70 percent. I don't know. That's very difficult to say. So the Pew survey that we had, surprisingly, actually, Armin, can you comment on that? Uh, and uh, we'll just say something, keep the audience engaged. So I'll, I'll bring up that Seven. Indian survey. I don't know when it will happen. 70%? That's like not in our lifetime. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm, I'm curious to know why exactly you're asking for 70%. Why is that number so significant for you? Why not 60%? Why not 80%? But I don't know. I don't. I think this is not something that you could, is easily predictable. Um, but I do think that India as Muslim have a higher chance, uh, are going to get to this number sooner than many other countries. Um, I think living in a country where you have multiple religions, religions and you're exposed to different, um, and you also have a very strong rationalist atheist movement in India. So I don't know exactly. Okay, so here's my optimistic take. It will take less than 100 years. Less than 100 years will we get there. My optimistic take. I'd, 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 be, I'd be more optimistic than that because I always believe no. any major change is only one or two generations away. Um, and in generation, we talk about 20 years. Every 20 years, you know, that generation becomes apparent and then give rise to a new generation. So this is a very interesting Pew survey. I, I love this Pew survey. It demolished a lot of my, I wouldn't say biases, but it demolished a lot of my existing views about Muslims in India. And, and they earned a whole level of respect from me. Let me ask you actually, Armin, what do you think? What would be the percentage of Indian Muslims that do not, I know it's a misnomer, but let's just go by that, that do not believe in God? 10%, 5%. Okay. And what, what do you think would be a percentage of Hindus who don't believe in God? 15%. See, this is why like it destroyed me. But anyway, you're right. So, so you know... Muslims better than Hindus. So here it is. Look at this. And this was a big, big survey. I think 155,000 people were surveyed in that. That took about two years. This is a wonderful survey. It's, it's got like 12 pages. So here, here it is. Um, so one third of Indian Buddhists do not believe. So obviously Buddhists are the, are the wow. biggest non-God believers. Muslims, 6% of Muslims mm. who were surveyed do not believe in God. So they're actually ex-Muslims, okay? With less certainty. 12% do not believe in God no. with less certainty. So that's, these agnostics can't exhaust it. They're like, yeah, well, screw this. I don't know. My life is too. Uh, Hindus, before... only 2% Hindus. Oh, really? What the, f what the F? Yes. <laughs> only 2% two, only 2 of Hindus don't believe in God. So Hindus are far more traditional than they, than they, you know, than they, than a lot of these guys we see. Obviously, we, we have a different little niche. So we only... I... Completely, yeah. yeah I, I yeah, thought Hindus would be a lot higher. I, that's yeah. what I thought. I would have thought that 10 10 percent because 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 uh, when I was doing research for my book, I know obviously this is the survey came a lot later. I would have, I had thought that okay because Hindus are so chilled with their religion. I knew that they were traditionalists and they did care about the culture and everything, but I thought that since they are so easygoing, they probably would not care much about um, uh, about God. So I looked up th th before this was a. Uh, Gallup does a study every not, uh, every seven years or something, or six years or something. So there was a Gallup study of 2018, and India only had 2% atheists in that study, 2 or 3%, I can't remember exactly. I was like, what? So I, I get it, even 2% of India is huge, because <laughs> you're dealing with over a billion people. Uh, that, that's probably more than the population of Australia and New Zealand combined, but still... It's uh, that that number is uh, very disappointing that only two percent of Hindus don't believe in in in, in God. Uh, whereas, so if you spread it out evenly across all uh, people from all um, religions and all backgrounds, that makes it three percent. Okay, okay, what well, there it is. Three three percent of Indians don't believe in um, in God. So we've got three percent atheists, which is a very small number given that. India has enjoyed secularism and religious plura plurality, plurality, yes, religious plurality, plur okay, I'm not going to try it again, you get it, um, for such a long period of time, but we've only gotten 3% That of, is so uh, strange, 
So Iran is like I think above twenty percent on this. Yeah, yeah. You, India you is like three percent. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah India is crazy. Okay, so but, we need to rel so we on the Muslim community in India, we need to like target them. So I'm gonna we need to there's a lot more hope into getting uh, the Muslim community out of religion. By the way, Katie is pointing out that, okay, because a lot of people are saying, like, why are you calling them Muslims if they don't believe in God? I mean, first of all, it's self ID, belonging to community, and also what Katie is saying in the live chat Muslims who don't believe in God are just atheists. It's just that India doesn't recognize atheists. Yeah. Also, an another, another major point is that um, in India, because Muslims are minorities and they feel, okay, I'm just steel men in their position, they feel. I know a lot of ex-Muslims or atheists from India who just say, well, I identify myself as a Muslim because I don't believe in God or anything, but, but, but because they feel like they're being attacked by these Hindu radical Hindus. So that's why. And also in this, in this context, though, they grouped people into their religions. Um, so if I was, let, let's say if Pew had approached me and I was an Indian citizen, I would, they would have also asked me like, okay, well, what are you? What were you? Muslim. Okay. Well, you belong to Muslim community in India. I would have said, yeah, Muslim, but do you believe in God? No, I don't believe in God anymore. So they, so yes, I have become an atheist, but they didn't include atheists separately because that would have made the whole study redundant because this study was all about religion in India. Okay. Mm. Hope, hope that answers okay. the question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, no, so actually, we uh, okay, okay. To, uh, to answer, we, oh. did, we, we did everything but answer the question. So he said, so, uh, okay, because 70% uh, apostasy has caused revolution in Iran. Okay, good. So when it comes to 70%, so it, it is six right now. So we get to 70. I don't know. I would say don't lose hope because any major change is a generation away. And then two generations, boom. 20 years ago when I came to Australia, when I, when I went to uni, homosexuality, being gay was used a slur. Could not have imagined being atheist whatever L look at the world around you it's 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 absolutely shocking it's so different forget about bringing people from 100 years ago i said bring people from 30 years ago and put them in 2023 and they would be like what the hell where am i so e this is something that even back to the steven spielberg back to the future could not have predicted <laughs> Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.